The Synology DS223 is a brand new entry-level network attached solution that is meant to be used as a stepping stone in your NAS and server storage journey. This new NAS has all the features that you will need to not only store your data but actively back it up with ease. With a price tag that will not put a dent in your savings account. However, given how oversaturated the cheap NAS market is right now, the DS223 will have to offer a great deal of performance and features to be competitive, and in this review we will put that to the test. The Synology DS223 is a budget NAS system that offers exactly what you need to store your files and do regular backups. However, it has its limitations when compared to other models such as the DS720+. Plus. Mainly, it lacks a lot of the expansion features of the before mentioned NAS. With the DS223, what you get is what you will use until you decide to replace the entire NAS unit with a better one. But we will talk more about the expansion options of this unit later on into the review. Right now, it's time to see what you get for your money, and speaking of which, this NAS can be had right now for over or around 250 US dollars or euros, give or take based on your location and the currency. To give you some comparison with the pricing, the DS720 Plus or its successor, the DS723 Plus, is priced at no less than 440 US dollars or euros, so you get an idea. For around 250 US dollars, you do get a lot for your money, as the Synology DS223 is, after all, an entry level 2 bay NAS that has most of its features the same as the one found on the bigger units. When we talk about the design of this NAS, it's simple as it resembles the bigger and better NAS systems, and I suspect that some parts of the casing are shared among multiple NAS models to save on production costs. However, what is impressive with this little NAS is just how much cooling it actually does have for the internal components and the hard drives you will use, even though at first glance it doesn't look like much. For the cooling, we start at the back where we have a single 92mm fan. This is the same fan used on the DS720 Plus NAS and is made by YS Tech and can be controlled through the NAS software, also called DSM or Disk Station Manager. The cooling is not only limited to the before mentioned 92mm fan though, as this little NAS is packed with cooling vents that allow fresh air to enter the enclosure and move around the hard drives and the internal components. First of all, the sides of the NAS casing have this nice looking Synology logo which is in fact a hidden intake vent, and these are present on both sides of the NAS. In addition, the front detachable panel has a large enough gap to allow fresh air to be drawn from all around its surface, this ensures that the hard drives you install inside the NAS will have a good amount of airflow from all sides. To access the two hard drive bays of this NAS you will need to remove the front panel which is easier than you'd expect it to be as this plastic panel is only attached to the body of the NAS with just some rubber gaskets. This is not the best mounting system in the world as it makes the front panel easy to drop and bump out of place, as it's only held in place by friction and nothing else really. But it is a tubeless design and that's good for users that are not yet confident in their skills. In terms of ports, you get some that will be helpful while using the NAS, especially at the front, where you have a single USB 3.2 Gen 1 that is in fact a USB one-touch copy port. What this means is that you insert your media drive in the USB port and press the C button and the NAS will automatically copy the contents of your drive on the internal hard drives. You get two more USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports at the rear alongside an RJ45 internet port to connect your NAS to your local network and the internet. The internal hardware is interesting to say the least. The Synology DS223 uses a Realtek RTD 1619B, a 4 core CPU that is running at 1.7 GHz. This CPU is an upgrade over the previous generation of Realtek CPUs, and the fact that it has 4 cores can only help with the general usage of the NAS software. In terms of RAM, this NAS uses only 2GB of DDR4 RAM memory and unfortunately it cannot be upgraded for a higher capacity so what you get is what you will use. Before we head into the software part of this review, we need to see what's included with this little NAS and you get a power cable, an internet cable, a power brick, a user manual and a few Philips screws. And that's about it. The software used on the DS223 is the same disk station manager that is used on most if not all Synology NAS products. It's a comprehensive software that is kept in a closed environment for security reasons and to offer a better optimization for all NAS units. 
While this is the same software used for all NAS products, some features are not included with the DS223, as this unit is not capable from a hardware level to handle those tasks and features. For example, this NAS does not have the active backup suite, nor does it have the Synology high availability software. These apps will require a better hardware setup to work properly and that's the main reason why they are not included with this NAS. However, that doesn't mean that you're not getting most Synology apps with the DS223 because you do, especially for backup, file management and multimedia managers. Even with the 2GB memory limit on the hardware side, this software is smooth and I did not experience lagging once in my testing, so you will be fine with your own NAS if you decide to go for this model. The performance is what you'd expect and it's good, however it is mostly based on what storage device you use. SATA SSDs will be faster than even the best hard drives on the market and the same can be said for server grade hard drives when you will put them against consumer grade models, such as the Blue Series from Western Digital. The file copy speed, the transfer speeds, will vary based on what you use and that's why I cannot give you a definitive result as I can be using a higher specification hard drive than you and the speed will vary based on that. However, the performance offered by the DS223 NAS is great as the operating system is smooth and easy to install and I can say the same thing about the user experience, which is identical with what the higher end Synology NAS systems offer. The one reason to get this NAS over something within this price range from a different company is the Synology DSM or Disk Station Manager. This bespoke software offers a lot of features and is easy to use, an important thing especially for beginners as the DSM takes a lot of the guesswork out of the equation. If there's something to improve though, is the price. If this model would be around 20 to 30 US dollars cheaper, it would make more sense, as within this price range, 250 US dollars, we have a lot of options to choose from, and while many do not have the software that Synology offers, they either have more RAM or a better CPU overall. However, the choice is yours on what to choose based on what your needs. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in the direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Star pages of this channel.